Poland's incumbent president Andrzej Duda laid out plans to address the country's relationship with the EU as part of a wide-ranging constitutional referendum in 2018, unearthed reports reveal. Mr. Duda has narrowly beaten challenger Rafał Terzaskowski in Sunday's presidential elections in Poland. The National Electoral Commission said Mr. Duda had 51 won and 20 jayon percent of the votes. It is Poland's slimmest presidential election victory since the end of communism in 1989. One of the major issues of the election was the future of the country's strained relations with the EU. Mr. Duda is a social conservative allied with the government led by the Nationalist Law and Justice PIS party, which has repeatedly clashed with the bloc. Under PIS, Poland has played a purely negative role in Brussels, obstructing the EU's attempts to reform migrant policy and become carbon neutral. Moreover, PIS talks about Brussels as a new imperial occupation force and has been in a long-running dispute with the bloc over judicial reforms, which critics say limit the independence of the courts. In December 2019, Poland's Supreme Court even warned that government plans to overhaul the justice system could eventually force the country to leave the EU. In the end, the radical judicial reforms never saw the light of day but Mr. Duda's re-election may permit him to make use of veto powers. Unearthed reports suggest the president could also re-push for a referendum on the nation's EU membership, and even follow the UK out of the bloc, triggering a Brexit domino effect. In 2018, Mr. Duda laid out plans to address the country's relationship with the bloc as part of a wide-ranging constitutional referendum for the first time since Warsaw joined the bloc. Mr. Duda had long argued that Poland's 1997 constitution needed to be updated. According to a throwback report by the Financial Times, the Polish leader set out a list of questions that citizens could have been asked in the vote.